You guys only scored, I think, five points in the last six and a half minutes of this game. What do you feel like changed down the stretch offense for you guys? It just seemed like the ball got, got really stuck. Um, I don't know. We didn't move it side to side like we had for three quarters, which were we were really good. Um, yeah, I mean, I just felt like we didn't execute. It just felt like we kind of let them take them. When they went on a little run, we did, we could never find a way to respond. And, um, you know, that's what happens in basketball runs. So you got to find a way to always respond. And I don't think we executed any sort of set. What does it take to get out of a funk like that, whether it's a message in a timeout, a big possession, anything, mm-hmm. something like that? Yeah, I think we could have tried to stay together and kind of huddle a little bit more. I, I thought we kind of fell apart a little bit um, as a team. And um, the more you can stay together, like, especially in an environment like that, like that's what they want to do to you. Like the crowd, like they're, they're obviously rooting for them. Like you can't let that bother. You got to stay connected as a five on the floor. And I thought we, we could have definitely done a little bit better in that area. Yeah, Galen, today you were passing the ball really well. You had a few deep threes. Um, mm-hmm. I think in the final seven minutes, you shot the ball twice. Maybe wish that on some of those possessions, you kind of just took it yourself and maybe wasted on a deep three. I mean, sure, you can wish it. I'm, sh- I'm sure there was an opportunity or two for me to probably attempt another shot there quite at the end, but I trust my teammates. Obviously, 13 assists, that means my teammates scored off of 13 of my passes. Like, it's a really great number. Um, so I'm going to give them the ball every time and give them an opportunity to score. I believe in them. And obviously, Kels had a great game. Um, I thought AB was really good. I thought we were really good out of ball screen action for three quarters. Um, and then we kind of just struggled to even get to it. Um, and obviously, but it, it wasn't our offense. Our offense was never never the problem. We scored 87 points, and we really didn't execute the entire fourth quarter. It's We just fouled. We, we have to stop fouling. Angel, especially in those last uh... – First, you really hold for a quarter. I'm mm-hmm. just kind of what you think. Uh, why do you think you guys went into it with the same or what do you think she did tonight? Yeah, I thought she ran really well in transition. I think she got a couple and ones in transition. Obviously, she played a really great game. Um, I think they definitely knew to be physical with us. I think they probably watched the dream film and, and saw that we fouled them nonstop. And in Atlanta, we were able to get away with that. Um, and then obviously, tonight, putting them at the foul line 32 times, we put Atlanta at the foul line 35 times. Like, Teams like this, you're not going to get away with that. Like it's not going to work usually. Like that, it was impressive that we went to Atlanta with how many, how much we fouled, and uh, all the times giving up and ones. Like Angel had a, a, quite a few and ones there in the fourth, but uh, I thought she played a, a really great game. So, I had a question for both of you. Um, today is the 52nd anniversary of Title Nine, so I was curious if you could both an- answer this. If you could wave a magic wand and create equity in one aspect of sports right now, what would it be? The money. Mm-hmm. We need more money. Uh, no, but seriously, I think uh, today was a really good moment to be a part of, obviously, with the with the history behind it. But um, I think let's sort of magic wand. I think this was a good moment for us mm-hmm. as far as women's basketball is concerned today. Um, you know, the atmosphere, you guys, the media, um, the fans, your family, you know, the young kids. I think this was a good atmosphere for us. Mm-hmm. And I think that the women's basketball game as a whole took a took a big jump today. Yeah. So I would agree with Kels. Like, I don't think there is a magic wand. Mm-hmm. I think there's so many areas where we can still improve across the board for not only basketball, but all women's sports. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's cool to see how far we've come in just the last few years. And obviously I went to the university of Iowa that was, you know, on the forefront of title nine and Dr. Grant and everything that she did. So obviously I, you know, coach Bluter always preached that to us and how fortunate we were to be at a university that really supported women's athletics and wanted that to be an opportunity for all of us and treated us the exact same as every other men's sport on campus. And um, so I was very fortunate in that regard. And, um, but like I said, there there is no magic wand. There's so many areas that you can't just focus on one. And, you know, slowly over time, I think we can certainly get there. Hey, when you mentioned ball screen actions earlier. How do you think you've improved the most in your pick and roll game from the start of the season? You come out? Yeah, I think just, you know, reading whether they're trapping me or early right away and just getting it out of my hands. Um, I think that's been the biggest difference. I've, I also think I've been getting trapped less. I think if you look at the stats, I haven't been getting trapped quite as much, but I think I'm done a really good job at deciphering exactly what they're doing um and I think just like our me and AB's connection has improved a little bit um and less like I think just the chemistry and getting to play with one another you kind of get on the same page uh with your minds a little bit better so um it's definitely improved and I think even like when I do hit AB right in the middle like if they rotate over AB's done a great job of swinging it to the next side and we've been we've been able to hit shooters to knock shots out Kelsey had a Today, Caitlin set a Indiana Fever record for assists in a game. Um, do you feel like as the season has gone on, that that chemistry just continues to grow as far as you guys having uh, good connections with her passes finding your hands a lot better? Oh, for sure. 
for I think um experience is everything. I'm a, I'm a preach that I think the more and more you learn, the people that you're playing with, you create a better atmosphere on and off the floor. Um, and I think that me and C Square are to a point where we could trust each other and we could rely on each other offensively and defensively, obviously. But um, we I, I would like to think that our connection is gonna you know keep evolving to the point where uh, we won't even have to think about you know what, what each other need and we just keep you know, in the right way. Mm -hmm.